This is the one, the only, yes. Colin Doherty, yes. who is my friend from Fresno for many, many, many years. Many years. Yes. We were both children there we, together. We, well, actually, we you know, I think. you and I are, are very close to the same age. Yes. Very yes, close. We, we were talking you're, about You're that. my junior. Yeah, I'm just a little bit younger than you. Okay, well, that's good. All right. But Colin... See down on the bottom, the last gig he had for many years was former general manager at KNXT TV, Channel 49 in Fresno. He spent 10 years? Uh, 11 years there. 11 years there. But his claim to fame was he was the guy who started out as general manager when they built the first public broadcasting station in Fresno. KV. Well, they, you didn't call it KVPT then. No. No, KMTF. 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 Madera to Larry Fresno. Okay, so, but then they decided to change the call letters to be more inclusive right. of Valley Public Television right. kind of thing. Because we went down into Bakersfield. Oh, that's right. That's, 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 that's what right happened. There. And Colin was the first general manager, but before he went over to Channel 18, he worked at the, was it ABC or CBS 47? At that time, it was ABC. ABC. Was Channel 47. He worked at KJEO. Mm-hmm. Channel 47, which is a famous call letter for a Jack E. O'Neill, yeah, right. who was the owner. And that's where I got the idea from Jack E. Yeah. O'Neill to call the first television station that I own by myself. <laughs> and I say by myself <laughs> yeah. without sole my... Sole owner. I was called. a sole owner. <laughs> but that was before my ex who had Channel 59. But KGMC, that's for Gary Morris Coca-Cola. Yeah. See, us TV guys are like that, know. you know. We're egotists. Egotistical, yes. that's right. Yes, and and you know what? I guess it's okay. That's okay. You only live once. I know it, and we're going through it pretty, pretty fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just talking about yes. that yesterday. Oh. We sat at the uh, Il Fornaio in Carmel and reminisced about all the years and years we yes. have known each other and been in the TV business. Colin, now that you are... And I know we talked about retire because that's a bad word for me. But we we talked about your retirement. But you are doing more now in retirement than most people would ever, ever do. Can we start at the beginning of your retirement? Because that is fascinating. Well, I I was on the board of directors of the Chaffee Zoo. Okay. Uh, in Fresno for 11 years. Okay. And uh, I termed out there. Termed then, out, meaning they, they didn't I watch took, anymore, right? <laughs> well, yes, you get so much time, it's like prison. You turn you loose. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I was on the grand jury for uh, two years, Fresno County. Yeah. And I termed out there, termed too. Termed out there, too. And this is all now in retirement. Uh, yes. All right. And uh, then and, what did and, you do? Uh, well, I've been, uh, I've been hiking with a, a group of seniors now for... I don't know how many years, and we go to all of the areas in the Sierras, Kings Canyon, Sequoia, Yosemite. I, 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 all right, now I want to hear more about that schedule as a hiker with your friends. How many days a week do you do this? We do it just one day. Now, some of the other people do it. Uh, some of the people that, I, that do that um, uh, paddle down the Kings River uh, on Wednesdays. Oh, wow. And then do a dog walk on Fridays. Oh, my so goodness. You do those too? No, no, no. no, no, no. I don't do okay. those. I so, don't have a dog and, <laughs> and I don't paddle. All right. So you go. You do the Monday gig. I do the Monday gig. All right. That's and right. then what is the, tell me what that's like. What time do you show up in the morning to well, do that? Well, we get together at about uh, seven o'clock in the morning, approximately, yeah. carpool. Yeah. yeah. We take off to wherever we're going to go. Okay. And now, do you know ahead of time where you guys are going to uh, go yeah, for the we, day? We know ahead of time, at least a day ahead of time or okay. two. And then we, uh, we uh, hike and sometime, you know, we'll take our lunches with us, what have you. And we sit up there on a vista that is absolutely, it's a million dollar view. Oh, wow. That you're looking wow. at some place that. Uh, and this only, is in the Sierra Nevada. Yeah, where, yeah you this know. is all there. Uh, but one time we did hike over here to Pebble Beach. Oh, you did? Yeah, we oh. drove over and hiked to Pebble Beach. And another time we hiked across the Bay Bridge. Oh, wow. So uh, how long are the hikes? Uh, generally 8 to 12 miles. Okay, depending. that's a pretty good hike. Yeah, and it's, how it's, long are you gone from from home? In other words, you start off early in the morning. What time do you get back at, at we home? We generally, we leave at 7, drive where we're going, uh, do our thing, and we're generally home by 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. Ah, so, so it's a full day. Oh, yeah, it's a full, full day. day. It's just like golf. And how, yes, yeah, it's like it's golf. <laughs> and how, It's a hobby. And how long have you been doing this now? Oh, let's see. With this... This, this this segment this, this segment, hiking thing uh, probably the last uh, f- 
six years, I guess. Okay. Six years. But that's not all he's doing. He's doing some other stuff. Tell him about what you're doing, how you're volunteering now. Well, I'm uh, uh, with the Fresno Police Department, the COP, Citizens on Patrol, okay. where you assist the police department in, we don't do crime things, okay. but, you know, if there's a wreck or there's something like that, we, we block the streets and so on and so forth, and we drive a police car. And, and Do you um, get to turn the red lights on? Only if you're stopped and blocking the street. Oh, okay. We can't turn the... the you can't go after someone. can't turn uh, the rainbows on. Yeah, and you can't um, give no, tickets. No, you and can't. we can't exceed the speed limit okay. and so, so on and so forth. So. But that's citizen on patrol. Citizens on patrol. Okay, so now if the, do, do all cities have these COPs? No, no, no. no. Some, just Fresno. Well, I'm not saying just Fresno, but but uh, some cities do. Some cities, you know, it's something that you get into, and Fresno's has been there a long time. And then I do the CERT program with the fire department. Oh, wait a minute, CERT. CERT. These uh, commu- uh, citizens. Uh, uh, get the, the, the What's it stand for? Citizens Emergency uh, Rescue uh, Team. On on, on now, on do you way. go out in a fire truck to do no, that? No, 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 no. We we don't fight fires. You don't fight fires. We assist the firemen when they're there. We set up. We're getting cooling. a phone call. We're getting cooling stations. Oh, we we just missed. Where sorry about that. We just missed My a phone call. Said she'd call. Did your mom? <laughs> No. Uh, keep going. Sorry to interrupt. I saw the light blinking here. But uh, no, that that's uh, we don't fight fires. But again, uh, we help the firemen. You know, when you fight a fire, uh, it's hot, even in oh, yeah. the winter time. Yeah. But we have cooling stations we set up for them, uh, chairs, uh, drinks, some. Uh, so you're, you're so assisting forth. the firemen. Firemen. Okay. We don't fight fires. You at don't all. fight. Yeah. And then and then we assist. Like next week, I will be a victim. Uh, they're going to have training for the fire department oh. and the police department and the EMCs, and a building will come down, and I will be uh, a, a victim. victim. So, so they'll paint they'll, me all up, uh, and, uh, and they practice on you. They practice. They, you know, how to find me, yeah. and and wow. uh, what my what my injuries are. Wow. And then uh, they haul me out of the place. Wow. So, so that's 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 a drill. That's a drill. A drill. Yeah. So. so so you're doing the COPs and you're doing the fire so, department. So, Certs, yeah, certs during the certs. Now, anything else on your mind about volunteering for? I mean, have you been looking into other stuff? Well, we're trying to at the beginning stages of starting a museum of broadcasting oh, in the that's Central Valley. Right. So, radio and television history of the Central Valley. Uh, nobody really knows anything about it. So, we are starting. That aspect the broadcast of it. museum. You broadcast know, I wish museum. I could help you guys because well, you can. You know, you get your checkbook. Get the checkbook out, and I can <laughs> no, help you no. guys with the checks. I no, know. That's okay. that's no, okay. but you're you're. How far along are you guys? Well, you know, we've had a, a number of meetings and grabbing people together and so forth. So, can you name uh, some of the guys that are on the group that uh, you're John working Osland, with? Which okay, is he's a, a radio, radio guy. guy. Okay, John. And, I know John and, and uh, Roger. Hickson, which is an engineer. In, I know in Roger. Station. Yeah, it wasn't he. And, uh, a, wasn't he? Chuck a, Carson. I know Chuck. Okay. Yeah, all, with all these guys. And, yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, we're pulling together, and Liz Harrison, uh, who used to be on Channel Thirty. Yep. Uh, uh, hi, Liz. Oh, no, we Liz. are bringing these people together as a body to again start the process, and uh-huh. we hope uh, this time next year. We will be at the Fresno County Fair okay. in the Historical Museum that's, site. That's a great idea yeah. because, you know, young people to the— You'll be there. I'll, be, I'll be there. Well, be, no, uh, I won't be there. You'll be in it. Oh, I'll I mean, be in it. Well, well yeah, yeah. I, am a, I am an old guy that's been in yes. broadcasting a long time. We're going to get your bust time. and put it up on the wall and, <laughs> and throw rocks at it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we have to do. You know, throw darts. <laughs> yeah. We'll have—let's see who that's can hit— right. Gary's bust with that's, the dart. That's right. Now, that's a great idea. Having a broadcast museum has always been near and dear to my heart because I think for young people, yeah. I'm talking about children now, you know, through grammar school and, and junior high and high school, they know nothing about the history of broadcasting. No, no. It's, and, it's... and really from the first radio stations like KMJ that just had its 100th, 100th anniversary uh, that's a radio station in Fresno that came on back in the 1920s, I mm-hmm. think. And uh, from the very first VHF television station that I was on many years ago, Channel 12, and it was KFRE TV. That's mm-hmm. where I got my start with Al Radka. So maybe, you know, I'll be able to help you guys get some, I don't know whether we would call it. Uh, uh, 
old photos, uh, oh, posters. Yeah. We want some archival material. Yeah. Um, and uh, pull it together. But anyway, we've we've got a we've got a place in the Fresno County Muse- uh, Museum at the fair at, at the, the fair big ground. Fresno Fairgrounds. We have a space already designated. But what happens if there's so much stuff and you g- overwhelm the space? Can you guys get a like well, a building? We'll, we'll rotate rotate oh, stuff in, in and, and out. out. Yeah, in and out. And uh, who knows? You know, once you start. Um, you get started. We, you never can tell. Yeah, where it goes. So. Well, bless your heart for doing that. What are there four, five, six of you guys doing this? Uh, right now, there's about that many, and and we're going to have to create a 501c3, which yep. is a nonprofit, nonprofit corp. Yeah, and uh, we will do so. And well, good move for from you. There. You so. are you are a true broadcaster, Mr. Colin. Well, I have True been blessed and lucky, and uh, I am, you know, I really have been blessed. Have you added up all the years? I mean, would you mind telling our audience how many years you've been in the broadcasting business? Uh, it's 48. 48 years. Mm-hmm. You started where? Uh, at uh, KJO. At, well, uh, but didn't you do something up in San Jose or, well, or San Mateo? I, I, was, I was in college there, and, okay. and I was a student and uh, there was a low power station there, and they used to write the the college news. Okay, and, on and you were on air. Were you on air? I was on air, but on a clear day, you could get to Oakland. <laughs> you know, so. so it was very weak signal. It, it was, if it was no fog and the and the river was right, you know, you could get to Oakland. But do you know that I I almost had a very similar story because when I started with with Al Radka, mm-hmm. I was on a very high power VHF station, Channel Twelve. And then I kind of graduated, uh, got out of school, and then there was a local low-power station, Channel 53, KAIL in Fresno. And I did a daily show, Monday through Friday, for one hour called Anything Goes Show. Oh. Okay. And the claim to fame, when I did that show, I have a photo, is I interviewed Nancy. Her maiden name was McIntyre. Beautiful lady. Young lady. And there I am sitting on the set with Nancy McIntyre. Well, she ended up marrying Tom Seaver, the famous oh, okay. baseball player. Right, right, and she became right. Nancy Seaver. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, so I go way back like you, you know, yeah. back in the 60s yeah. and the 70s. Well, Marconi probably yeah. were neighbors. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think <laughs> he was a friend for, of mine. <laughs> for, the, for the younger people who don't know who Marconi is, yeah. he invented radio. Yeah. So uh, we go back that far almost. And Fel- Philo T. Farnsworth, I think, is the founder of television, wasn't he? I, Philo I think, Farnsworth. Yeah. yeah. See, now, if, if you are a student today, a young person like uh, Rachel, Rachel, this is all history to you, right? Yeah. Have you heard of any of these people? Marconi or <laughs> Far- Philo Farnsworth? Rachel. I learned about Philo Farnsworth. Oh, she did learn about Philo Farnsworth. See that? Rachel is 19, right, Rachel? Rachel is 19. She's our technical director tonight, filling in for her brother, oh. Dylan, who is here every week normally. But he got detained today in Oakland. And thank you so much, Rachel, for filling yes. in tonight. Because I don't know how we would do a show without you yeah. helping us out tonight. So I've got shoelaces older than she is. I got socks no, older than her. That's true. <laughs> yes. That's what I always say. Oh, when I but, meet someone young and she is she's so good at what she does and so is Dylan. I mean, we're so lucky to have them. Cuz you can't do a live TV show no. without somebody like I know these it. young you people who are able to hit the mouse and make everything work and, and come all together. That when you say something bad, they right. hit the button and stop it, so. <laughs> uh, We don't have one of those what is it? Three, seven second, seven second yeah. delays. No, okay. no. You know, the other night, you'll love this. The other night I had a guest on, and he was jabbering away and talking away. And then I thought he said a bad word. And I got, I mean, I heard it, but it, it wasn't. We no. checked it out later. Okay. And I go, oh, my God, we're going to lose our broadcast license. I'm so sorry. This is probably the last show we're going to do. But it was okay. Yeah. yeah it was just me. That's, it was my hearing that— you, you can't think that way on live television. No. You have to You've done a lot of live TV, Mr. Colin. Yeah. They used to do on Channel 18 the great auction. What did you guys oh, call great that? Great TV auction. Great yes. TV auction. It was so all live. All, all live. live. And it, it actually spawned a couple of Fresno celebrities, Bert Levy and Bob Collegian, mm-hmm. who were the Bert and Bob, and they were terrific on TV. And people <laughs> watched the auction just for Bert and Bob. Yeah. Yeah, they were fantastic. They were a great young team. Young men at that yep. time. Now one is a, a justice uh, of the 
Court of Appeals. Yeah. And the other one is just retired as an attorney after yeah. many, many years. Many years. Bobby, so, I hope you're hope watching, watching us Bobby. Yes. from Bobby. Italy because he's got a place in Florence now. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm so jealous, no. Bob, that he's on the, uh, he's but on you know. uh, looking out over the the beautiful city of Florence. Uh, but I'm you glad see, you're still busy. Hey, you well, know. you know, listen, uh, they're um, going to carry me out feet I, first. Okay. You know, I almost went to see uh, the other side I, I back in January yeah. with COVID, but um, somehow uh, this whole idea of bringing this show back. Juliana didn't want to do it, but I said, well, I'm going to have different co-hosts, like tonight we have Denise, and guests on like you. And we've had a lot of Fresno folks come over. Yeah. We had uh, Dean Opperman. He came over. In fact, he's going to come back, and we're going to switch chairs because he wants to do this now. Mm, okay. And I'm going to be the guest, and he's going to be the host, and he's going to interview me. Oh. Well, that's good. Well, that'd be fun, huh? Yeah. I mean, you've got a wealth of I have. I got a lot. I, I got a I story mean, to tell, just it's, like you. It's, oh boy, there's another one of those motorcycles. My, my ride is arriving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you believe that Denise and and Chris went in a pedicab? That's what I heard. From it, it, you know, an eighty dollars eighty dollar ride. It's uh, a good thing that that I didn't do it because he'd get uh, twelve fifty out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know. How many people carry eighty dollars around their? Do you have Do you have any desire? What is your bucket list, Colin? Is there anything that you haven't done yet in your life? Like Denise wanted to go see Elton John, and she wants to see some of these other artists. Do you have any desire to see any big stars in concert? I saw Barbara Streisand uh, a couple of years ago in San oh. Jose. Oh wow, I, that's I think, big. Uh, she's my girl. All right, you know, and uh, that's big. Love that. Um, I don't know. I I love music. I love so many people that perform. And Do you like so Buble? Many, oh yeah, I love Buble. I'm it's, a Buble and, fan. And uh, the, the 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 music uh, videos you've had on tonight are all fantastic. Well, you know, Bob here's Stewart, now, I, I love his here's music. here's what's interesting about playing these music videos. These music videos are all aimed at people our age. Yeah. And the golden age. The golden age. Yes, yeah. Yes, the golden yes. age of television. That's right. And there's a lot of young people like Rachel and Dylan. They don't know who these artists are. Yeah. They don't know, like, you know, uh, uh, Elton John. Maybe they know Elton John or uh, Rod Stewart. And so it's been fun for us to introduce those artists to the young people like uh, Rachel and, and Dylan. But now in the last part of each show, for the last 15 minutes, what Dylan started is he's going to the 2022 artists, people I don't know who they yeah, are. I know. And he's pulling names out, and he's putting those videos into our show in the last yeah. 15 minutes. So now, hopefully, we'll get some mix. young people. Yeah. We'll get a mix, right? Yeah. Get some young people to watch our show because we're playing music for younger people. Yeah. Well, you know, I watch MTV, and and uh, when they have their... their uh, the uh, Video awards, Music Awards, yeah. And I'm looking, and I don't... I don't know any of these young people. I mean, they're fantastic, but the names come up, and I'm I have no idea. But yeah. you know, uh, bring called Sinatra, and I'm there. Yeah. You know? Well, we're going to play a little Sinatra tonight. Okay. We've got That's Sinatra good. on the list. Let's see who else we have. Uh, uh, we have Buble coming up later, so stay tuned for Michael Buble, uh, Mariah Carey, Olivia Newton John. Do, do you play any jazz? Um, yeah, I don't really. Okay. I mean, okay. I guess we could play Dave Brubeck. Yeah, that's good. Ahmad Jamal. Ahmad Jamal. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a jazz uh, aficionado? I'm, 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 I'm not a aficionado, but I like it. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, you know, uh, I don't know who it was. Oh, it was the night that I had Elise Rochford on. She's a music aficionado. And we started talking about Dave Brubeck. Oh, yeah. Dave Brubeck. And there was a song the that in I... The crowd. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, with the in crowd. Oh. And, and Take Five. Oh, Do you remember five. Dave Brubeck Those with Take Five? Those are fantastic. Those are great. That's great jazz. Yes, it is. From the, and you remember it. Oh. Yes. And I remember it. Yes. Because we're a couple of old timers. Yeah. <laughs> Earl Garner. Earl Garner. I love it. Play Misty for me. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Play Misty for me, we we're talking about the movie. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a fantastic movie. Do you remember that movie? Yeah, I do. I that do. was Clint's first movie that he directed right here in Monterey. Yeah. And that yeah. put Canary Row on the map. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Sardine Factory. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good old Clint, if you're watching out there tonight, we're trying to get you to do a Zoom call with us. Does he still own the, the boar's head? Is that what it's called? No, 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 the Hogsbrook. Hogsbrook. No, no, he sold that, and oh. he got uh, the Mission Ranch. Okay, okay. Mission, I showed you, yes, showed yeah, you where the Mission Ranch is. Yeah, we went by there yesterday after we were over at Il Fornio, and we had fun. Anyway, Colin, I don't know how to thank you for making the drive. It's my pleasure. I know it's I a mean, long way it's, to it's, come from Fresno. It's, it's 150 miles in two and a half hours. I mean, it's really terrible to come to Monterey and Carmel. I mean, That's what everybody says. I oh, mean, it's such. I ought to be paid. I to know. Come back yes, there. I know. Well, <laughs> I'm going to put a little kitty aside, okay. throw a few nickels okay. and dimes and quarters, you know, for well, spare change into the little pot, and that's going to any time you want me to. Force myself to come to Carmel and Monterey, please. All right, so I have please a question so. for you. Okay. All right. So if I, for some reason, can't do this show, do you think you could handle the hosting of this program? Well, you know, I did AM Fresno live in the morning. Did you? For uh, after, right after AM America a number of years ago. Okay. And, so uh, you could handle this. I, I think uh, I could uh, tap I mean, dance. as long as somebody had a music list for you yes. and we set up the, the guests, you could come on and I, fill in for I, me. I, I will... Would you do that I if will. I if I get you know because I'm going to have some surgery next month so oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah so if I you I'd know, be happy to do so it'd be my honor and play, uh, privilege to do so oh well that'd be great I'd me. I'd love to put you on the list so. of of co-hosts okay. for the Monterey on Tonight okay. Show because I know you'd know how to handle this yes. television stuff I tap dance too do you I, I do magic Did, tricks oh and all right so forth, so well then you're you know, the whatever. right you're the right guy I know. <laughs> Sometimes right tell myself that when I shave every morning. I, you're the right guy. You're the right guy for the job. You I'm can nearly do the perfect. Job. Yeah. Yeah. Many, many years. In fact, it still happens to him. He was on television in the Fresno market on the uh, KVPT. And he would go out into the supermarkets or whatever. And all of these little ladies would walk up. Oh, there's Colin. Hi, Colin. How are you? You know, one time I was recognized at the Tower of London. Really? Yeah. A, a gentleman from Merced. Uh, recognized me as they're standing in line at the Tower of London. Oh, wow, I, that's an honor. I didn't know our signal went that far, but <laughs> anyway. It, but it, it was, still happens to you. You told was, me that you still get recognized. I still, once in a while, uh, somebody who's um, over 65. Okay, okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll say. Remember. We'll say, we know you. Yeah, we, yeah. Remember. What are you doing now? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm going down the Colorado River on the Grand Canyon. That's oh what I'm my doing. goodness, Colin! Thank you, my friend. My pleasure. Such, my such, pleasure. such a such a pleasure to so, have you here tonight. Keep uh, watching him and tell your friends Monterey and on tonight. Tell your friends uh, because uh, we're going to have more folks like Colin on the air here. Great stories to tell. Uh, true TV broadcaster. Mm. This guy's been around. Even before I was on television in the last twenty years, you were you were doing it before me. Well, you know, I I, I learned from you. No, I no, no, no. I learned from you. Yes. I learned from you. We're throwing bouquets <laughs> yes, back and forth. Yes. In case you guys didn't see that. Yes. That's bouquets back and forth. I love forth. him dearly. He's a <laughs> terrific guy. All right, let's get back to the music, Rachel. Thank you again, Colin. Thank you.